Hi all, in this video we are going to learn about looping using for loops. So when we call for for loops, if the conditions require repeating process, meaning that if the, the questions or the programs require repeating process, then we will go for for loop. Okay, especially if we know when to start and when to stop for the for loop. This is the flow chart, how it works. So usually it will go from the above chord to the test conditions. If it fulfills the test condition, then it will go to other part of the code. And then it will back to the test condition again to check whether it fulfilled or not. If no, then it will go out. If yes, it will just looping, keep looping inside um, the code, and then it will com complete the other parts of the code. And the syntax is very simple. We start with four, and in the parentheses we have initial value, meaning that the value to start the for loop, and then conditions, meaning when we want to stop. And the third part is the increment or decrements. Either the value will be increased or the value will be decreased after every loop. And other part of the chords will be here. Okay. So to be I have to be to have a good practice, I always suggest you advise you to have um, the curly bracket. Okay. So that if there's one code, one line of code is okay, but if more than one line of code, um, it will not run properly. So for this case, since we only have one line, they say four and one line, then this curly bracket is optional. But if more than one line, please put the curly bracket. Okay, look at this example. We have a for loop. In means we define the initial value. We declare i. So one is assigned to i as integer. And then this integer i will be repeated. And the term of, uh, and the condition is must be less than five. Every time when this follow run, it will um, increase by one. And then inner part of the code is we display the i value. So in order to do this, usually we can prepare a table uh, or um, a handwriting. Okay, you create a table. And we start with this value first, i equal to one. So i equal to one, which is one. And then the condition is i smaller than five. So we have to check whether one is smaller than five. If yes, just write yes. And then um, we have to check the C out part. What is the C out? C out is the I. So what is the I value? I value is one. So next, after this line, it will go and check. Uh, sorry, it will go and loop. So when looping, it will decrease or increase. In this case, we have increase. So I is one, increased by one, we become two. So now the new value of I is actually two. And again, we have to repeat the process. We check whether 2 is smaller than 5. If yes, you put yes. And then you check the C out value, which is i itself. So it is 2. And i++ plus plus will become 3. So this process repeat again for i equal to 3. Check the condition. And then display the C out. Increase by 1. And it will repeat till 5. When it found that i++ value is 5, basically it does not fulfill these rules. So it will stop. Thus the C out value is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So there is no spacing, there is no end line, which is mean they are in one line, one row, and then they combine. I hope this is clear. So for this case, we have integer I as well, uh, I declare outside. So it's up to you. You want to declare outside the for loop or you want to declare inside the for loop. It is up to you, okay? So for for loop, integer i equal to 10, uh, to 10, which means that i will start with 10 for the initial value. And then the condition is i must be larger than 7. And in every loop, i will be deduct or i will be decreased. Next is we display the, uh, the c out, the i value, and then end line. So I have prepared the table for you. Try your best to fill it. Um, give you five minutes. After that, we will discuss. Okay, let's check the answer. Let's check whether you get you get the correct answer or not. When the when the loop begins, it starts with i equal to ten, so i equal to ten. And then if we check the conditions, whether it is larger than seven, it is yes. So we see out the value, which is ten. Next, 
is i decreased by one, which is nine. So now the i value become nine. And then the process check again whether it fulfill the condition. Display the C out value and decrease one value. So this process repeat until seven. Seven will check the conditions. It is not fulfilled because seven is actually equivalent to seven. So it will stop for this criteria. Because the output is 10, 9, and 8. When you combine them, you found that the C out value here is having N line, which means that each of the value it display, uh, it will go to the next line. You will have 10, 9, and 8. I hope you get this. We go for the next example. Now let's try for this output. For i equal to 3, i smaller or equal to 6, i plus or equal to 2, and so on. Okay, now try your best to come up with the table yourself. And then I give you five minutes to try. All right, let's compare your answer. It started with i equal to 3. i less than or equal to 6. So we have to check the conditions. And then we will go for the C out, which is the i value. And next, our increment is increased by 2. This means i equal to i plus 2. 3 plus 2 equivalent to 5. So this is 5. And now this becomes a new i value. And then if we check the condition, yes, 5 smaller than 6. So it's C out 5. And then the value of i increased by 2. So it jumped to 7. Now 7, we check again the rules. We found that 7 is actually larger than 6. So this condition is failed. Thus, the result is 3 and 5 only. So we have to double check whether there is spacing or there is end line. We found that there is a spacing here. So the answer is 3 uh, space 5. I hope you get this. Okay. We try for the next example. And again, try to create a table yourself and then try to fill in the table. I give you five minutes as well. Now let's see what is the answer. All right, we start with i equal to negative two. The condition is i smaller or equal to three. And then we have c out, i plus plus, i plus plus. Okay, c out is here, i plus plus is this. And then the second i plus plus is here. So I put a different color to differentiate them. So you know the red one is inside this part, blue, blue header of the table, which is represented for, for, the, for the for loop. It started with i equal to negative 2, i smaller or equal to 3. Okay, the condition meet. Then we go to the next line, c out negative 2. But i plus plus, <clears throat> which is referred to, to this one. Now negative 2 plus 1 become negative 1. And then this value increase again because of this for loop. Thus now it is 0. 0 is the new i value. Check the i value. 0 smaller or equal to 3. Yes, fulfill. And then we see out 0. And then the i plus plus some 1 meanings. Okay, and then i plus plus again. And next, the process repeat until here. Okay, we found that up to here, it does not fulfill the criteria, so we stop. Thus, the C out value is this one. Negative 2, 0, and 2. And when you check the C out, we have one space here. There is no end line. So negative 2, space, 0, space, 2. So I hope you get this. Try your best. Okay, next, we look for the nested for loop. Nested for loop means that in some of the cases, we will have more than one for loop. A for loop inside the for loop and inside another for loop. It could be two layers, it could be three layers. But the style is same. The style is just same. The coding is same, initial value with the conditions and the dec decrements or increments. But the difference is now um, it will work for first round, top layer of the for loop. Then it will repeat for, uh, it will go for the second layer of for loop. It will complete all of the process of second layer of for loop. Then it will go back again to the first layer of for loop and um, repeat the process. That's the for loop in nested for loop. 
Okay, so again, let's look at this example. Find the outputs for these four loops, i and j. Let's try, I give you five minutes. Okay, let's check our answer. So in order to create a table, first you have to understand that this is the first layer of four loops, meaning that you have to tag the initial value and the conditions, create two column first, which is this, i equal to negative two initial value and then i smaller than one. Next, we will go for the second for loop and you create another two columns, which refer to j equal to three and j smaller or equal to five, which is this one, the, red, the green color one. And next, we refer to C out, which is the other parts of the output. In this case, just one line. If you have more than one line, then you may need more columns. And after that, after that, after this C out, it will return to this second layer for loop for the J++. So you should have one column which is referred to J++ after the C out. And lastly, lastly, we will go back to here, I++, which is referred to the uh, first layer of for loop. Okay, now you have to fill it one by one. Um, started with i equal to negative two, and then check whether it fulfilled the rules. If the condition yes, then we will go for j equal to three, and then we will check whether j is smaller or equal to five, and then we will do the c out, uh, increase the value, and so on. Okay, so here is the output. So um, first round of J looping is three. Yes, it display one because I plus J. Oh, okay. Because of I is negative two plus J, which is three. Answer is one. Next is J plus plus. J value is three plus plus is four. Started with four. Check the condition again, whether it fulfill. Since this is yes, next to see out. I plus J negative two plus four, you will get two. Then the J value increase again. So the new J value is five. Check the condition again. Display the IJ value, I plus J, sorry. And then J plus plus and check whether it fulfill the conditions. So this is one complete for loop for J, which is the second layer. And next, next after one complete for loop, we will go for the first layer of for loop, which is I equal to negative one because i plus plus the i value is negative two i plus plus become negative one so new i value is negative one check the condition and repeat the overall process of j for loop so we found that basically besides the inner part of c out the other part of j actually are repeated value three four five six three four five six and so on and a yes 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 no yes yes no yes yes, yes no and the J++ also 456, 456, 456. The only part, the only different part is this one. Thus, um, you repeat the process and when it reach one, I equal to one, the conditions is failed. So the output is one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. And compared to here, this is the, uh, the there is a space here. So every number or every output will be having a space. So this is how we solve uh, nested for loop questions. Okay, so I hope this video helps you. Thank you very much.